Grace and peace be to you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I thank God for this wonderful opportunity when there is no way God prepares a way and he connects his people together and we are glad that we are able to be connected to hear the precious word of God the word of God which is living and active and which give lives to people transforms the lives of the people and brings revival even at this juncture when the whole world is in a chaos when we all are worried about our future about our family members when the government itself is in tension god has made us safe and secure to listen to the word of god as we proceed further shall we look to the lord and pray father god we thank you so much for enabling us to listen to your word in this manner we humbly surrender ourselves and we pray and beseech your help to understand your precious word comfort us father console us so that we will know the mighty and wonderful thing that you have preserved for us lord we pray for all our brothers and sisters this time who are going through a time of anxiety depression and also a lot of question within within their heart may you continue to answer them and solve their problem and lord as we meditate upon your holy word strengthen us open our eyes so that we will see the beautiful and wonderful things from your word for we ask everything in the matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen the book of psalm is about a set of songs which is written out of the true experience of the people of god who wrote it at different time remembering and recollecting how wonderfully god led them how god was so faithful in keeping his promises psalm is about telling how god is protective god is caring and god is nourishing his people time and again so here in the in in psalm 91 if we carefully read it is a psalm about full of assurance and promise these days if we tune up to our uh, tv channels and if we see all the channels it is probably the same fear that is making us scared about thing that is the spread of a corona virus most of the people they are have stopped going outside traveling and the ecologist they say that because of this pollution throughout the world has been reduced and there there are not much vehicle running around and because of that many thing has been affected if we see the surrounding things and people those who are uh, acting in the government level or in the in the law making body or people those who are involved in the social fear lot of changes lot of things to be made lot of things to be amended but in this area one thing is very true that god is in control and without his knowledge nothing can move psalm 91 is a wonderful assurance from god during the time of difficulty of his people this psalm is specially saying those who believe in god those who take shelter in god for them there is fullness of assurance there is fullness of life and assurance the first verse it is written he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will abide in the shadow of the almighty the verses and the word used here are so powerful it is written most high almighty god the lord my god fortress these words explain who god is how wonderfully he walks and what is his existence his nature his might i would like to entitle my sermon as god who is mighty to save god who is mighty to save most high god 
no one can fathom how big and how wonderfully he does things. Almighty God, to whom nothing is impossible, he is powerful over all the creation. Again, if we read here, it is written, my God, Sami says, we have a relationship with the Lord. Those who have a relationship, those who love the Lord, those who know about his existence, his, his work and his identity, they can say it with much confidence that he is my God and I can trust in him no matter what situation I face. Verse thir 3 or 5, 6, 7, these four verses, if we read, it reminds us of the incidents that happened in Egypt during the time when Pharaoh was uh, giving heavy burden to the Israelites and God allowed these plagues to come to the Egyptians so that they will be delivered and they will come out. And God is a, was able, he is able, and he will be able to deliver his people, to protect his people and give them completely, complete freedom. But what is our responsibility when we read these verses? Our responsibility is to look forward, look upon the Lord, not looking around the situation, what the situation is going on or how things are moving on, but we have to look on God who can control this situation, who can bring life to this situation, and who can really reconcile nature with the human being. I would like to say this surely when we read Matthew chapter 14, verse 30. There we find Peter is looking around the wind and the waves of the sea. And he is getting terrified. He was no more looking onto Jesus who was walking on the water. And that's why he began to sink and he cried, Lord, save me. This is the need of the hour, not to look around what the situation is or how bad people are facing uh, difficulty or what can be done, but looking onto God who can bring a change to all these things. If we read the following verses of this psalm, it is written that God is able to cover you with his wings and under his wings you will find shelter. He will give a shelter which will be more protective. No one can ever come, into there, come there and harm us. Remember always, my dear brothers and sisters, that you and me, we are the apple of God's own eyes. And no one can touch us without his permission until and unless he intervenes. Psalm 27, 5, again it is written that he is the one who gives us a place which is safe place, a place which is sacred, which is holy tent, and also he will place us in the high rock that somebody could ever Imagine to go there and touch us. The point here is, we as a believer has to remind ourselves that God is in control of our life and without his knowledge, nothing can touch us because he, he is aware of the minute thing of our life. He takes care of all the things that we can even possibly even imagine. If we read the following verse, Again, it is written, verse 9 to 12, if we carefully read, it is written, God is not only a shield or no, God, not only a person on, on whom we can rely and we can take refuse, but it is also that he will guard his angels. He will provide the thing necessary for us during these days, during this time of need. Maybe when the shops are getting closed down, maybe when things are happening in an unexpected way, most of the people, they are wondering how we can gather things, how we will be surviving. But let, us, let me encourage you that we can survive because God is our provider. He will provide. He will provide even 
before we ask because he is mindful of our uh, thought. I would like to encourage all our brothers and sisters, those who are listening to us during this time, please remember and remind our fellow beings also, this calamity may be a scope or it may be a reason for in which we will discover and renew our faith. We will discover how, how God shapes things and His work is beyond our imagination. How, and it is a call again to trust on Him more and more. It is a call again that uh, we, will, we will pray before Him not only for ourselves and our community but also people around the world who have been suffering these days. Again, as the salt and the light of this world, it is our responsibility that we will become an ideal Christian to people, before people. Ideal Christian who will live a life obedient to God, to the authorities, to the government authorities, to the church authorities, and abide by rules and regulation that is set for the welfare of the people. As, a li as the light and salt of this world, or world, God has called us very specially so that we will create awareness, help the needy and the poor during this time, those who are not able to help themselves. And also, very specially, create awareness, take care of our hygiene, and become an ideal to the people around so that they will see God in us. The psalm that we read today is, all, is not only a psalm where we find God is our refuse and strength, but it is also a psalm which reminds us as God is taking care of us, we are also responsible to take care of others. As God is encouraging us, do not fear, I am with you. We as a channel of blessing, are called to encourage people, those who are in fear, those who are uncertain about their life. May the good Lord continue to add his blessing, continue to add his grace so that we will endure this time of uh, trial, so that we will learn to live and act properly. That will become an example for the people who are with us and who are around us. May God continue to sustain and work among us. Shall we look to the Lord and pray? Father God, we once again thank you for speaking to us very personally. We thank you because you are the one and your blood cleanses us from all the disaster and disease. We thank you, Lord, because even in this time when we are uncertain, you are a certain God and you are a God who is surely taking care of us. You are looking at us, Lord. We thank you so much for that. All our brothers and sisters during those time, this time, those who are there at home are praying and are seeking for an opportunity for fellowship. We pray that may you open doors so that it will be easy for us, it will be possible in the days to come, so that we will be gathering together and be honoring, testifying how great you are. Because this trial would lead, to lead us to testimony. Test will become testimony, Father. And testimony, because all true, because you are a testament-keeping God. Once again, we submit all our listeners, those who are listening to this uh, prayer with faith, work in their life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord of God the Father, grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you from now and forever. Amen. Let's stand for the gospel of Praise God from
the service ends here, go in peace and serve the Lord. God bless you all.